Abracadabra, my magical Scipio. Welcome to your Love Tarot reading. Today we are doing the classic you versus them. We're going to see what is going on between you and your person, my baby, my boo boo, whatever that means to you. Situationship. One second, babe. Oh my gosh. <sighs> Situationship, relationship, bumble date, marriage. The wind is taking away our, our cards. We got the Queen of Wands. <laughs> she, got, she got abducted by the wind. Such a beautiful Saturday, Saturn's Day, um, the Lord of Time. So, you know, we're very connected to all those deep things, uh, deep issues. Because I'm a scripture just like you. We're connected to Saturn or Kronos if you're into more into Greek mythology, Father Time, basically. Uh, <clears throat> so a lot of karma is coming in today. But I feel like the vibe is super positive today. We're at the beach in Paphos, Cyprus, Venus Beach, my favorite beach. Mm, we're by the little cave that I love, but um, you can't see the sea, but I'm going to post uh, some pictures from the sea as well. Because I know I never show the sea because your mommy wakes up so late. Like, it's like by the time I wake up, it's like the, the sun's totally in the wrong place. Mm, all right, so let's see. But yeah, it's creepy. So the Queen of Wands came up for you. Action, action, action. Somebody's taking action towards you. Uh, the types of things you, uh, it's almost like you begged them to do those things, you wanted to do uh, them to do those things, you were like, do this, do this for me. It was like bare minimum, by the way, we all know how it is. Bare minimum, and this person just wouldn't do it, and I feel like at this time, at this point, they're like, yeah, I should have done that. Um, someone came to a real, uh, somebody got this as well. Leo season is important, so uh, either a rift or separation happened in Leo season, or somebody came into a realization that they should have done more by you uh, around Leo season. You could also be dealing with a Leo. All right, we, we need our glasses, baby. We're Scorpio through and through. <laughs> let's make this Scorpio. All right, so let's see. Please show me angels of love. What is happening for uh, my Scorpio sun, moon, rising, and Venus, and, their per and Mars, and their person in October 2024? <sighs> Someone really broke your heart, baby. This card just like... It, it was just sticking out. It was just like, uh, somebody broke your hide, babe. But it's okay. You know how it is. We always regenerate. Scorpion never dies. Oh my gosh, I said the D word. You know, like, with YouTube these days, like, there's so many words you can't say. It really, you know, it really affects us creators because, like, as you know, I do nec necromancy as well. And I do, like, speaking to the other side. And we actually can't say the D word. But we're just going to continue because your uh, reading is so potent and so beautiful. I'm not going to interrupt it. We've got the star. Okay. Okay. Yeah. You're dealing with a sad little bit, boo, boo. All right. They're feeling sad for themselves. You've got the nine of cups. Uh, right now, this person's, um, they're bluffing. Somebody's trying to bluff you. Even, I think, yeah, six of cups. They're coming back. Uh, you're watching this reading because like an ex or somebody where like there was like so much drama is trying to come back in or they reached out and they're like I'm sorry but Bill you know look at these six of cups I'm sorry when I'm wearing flowers blah blah uh, and if that hasn't happened yet I think you energetically or in your intuition because Scorpio is so intuitive I think you feel like somebody's coming back in trying to like make up for something but they're still in the energy of pretending that they're okay oh I don't need the Scorpion I got everything I need look at me I'm fine you could be dealing with the Taurus by the way or someone who has a lot of earth in their chart or a lot of Taurus in their chart. And uh, it seems to you sometimes like this person is very, not even materialistic, but like very basic. So it's like, as long as your basic needs are met, like you're fine. This is not the Scorpion way. We need that deep soul connection. They feel like you rejected them at the Four of Cups <laughs> and they bear a grudge about it. They're like, how could you have rejected me, Scorpio? How could you do this to me? And they broke your heart, the Three of Swords. They broke your heart, but they feel like you broke their heart. Oh, boo boo, let's see what happened in the past to make the situation so. This is someone who's fully intending to apologize and come back in. Uh, and if you're still in a relationship or you're, you're still talking and there's like weirdness, this is someone who's trying to fix it, but they don't know how you could be. Mm, this is what I'm saying, Taurus, because Taurus is our opposite sign as well. I'm sorry, but we're like. We're trying not to get a tan, but we're trying to sit in the sun. It's like, <laughs> your mommy's such a diva. <laughs> I'm like, son, don't, don't look at me, but also, like, I want to look at you. Uh, look at me looking at you. <laughs> don't cancel me. Uh, Scorpio, um, this person is, is, uh, is feeling like you rejected them. 
okay? And they're feeling dejected for that. But the truth is that um, maybe, you know, like they couldn't deal with the Scorpio and this is why I'm thinking it's a Taurus because it's like, it's like um, an opposite energy. Like anything you do, they interpret it the wrong way, like the wrong way. Like it wasn't your intention, you know what I'm saying? Maybe let me just check the time on the, um, <clears throat> uh, on the camera. All right, so let's see. Please show me angels of love. What's happening for Scorpio? Um, and their person in the past. Mm, true, this is true love. But is, is it your high vibrational love or is it just like blah, blah, blah? <laughs> Oh, boo -boo, forgive me. I'm just like, I'm having such a great time. Like, I'm going to show you some pictures in the community. Check out my community tab and my Instagram. I'm going to post some pictures from today. Because I keep saying like, oh, I'll show you guys. Because, you know, because the sun's in the wrong place. So I can't really move the camera to show you the sea. Uh, but then I never do it. And I feel like I want to share those experiences with you. And check out my vlog channel as well. Because I'll be posting more on there as well. Um... This person loves you, but they're a slippery fish. It's almost like they wanted to hurt you, but Bill. Opposite. You're opposites. Opposites attract, but it's like night and day, Taurus, uh, Scorpio. It doesn't, doesn't have to be Taurus, but it's like there's something really opposite about them. You have opposite ideologies, opposite beliefs, opposite things. There's just like a lot of oppositeness to you. And it's... Um, and it could work. You know, you can see that it could work with the Seven of Swords. This person doesn't see how it could work. They're always trying to get ahead of the game, put one cue in some kind of a way, or um, not cheat on you, but cheat you. You know, like trick you, cheat you, like trickster energy. This is somebody who's always trying to like get um, get ahead uh, because they feel um, like they're weaker than you. And what that does is that it, it, it just hurts the Scorpion because uh, the, the Scorpio has innate energy we have innate strength um if you're a scorpio you know how it, you know how it goes people who meet you they're always saying like oh you're so strong you're so this you're so that right um but we're tired we're always tired of that we want somebody who's going to be stronger we, we don't want to be strong but bill we're just strong because like you think we're strong because we can see right through you okay you see the scorpio eyes and you're like mm, fbi of the zodiac um i think this person just felt really intimidated by you by you Particularly if it was a new energy, if it was an established connection, it's someone who was giving you that kind of treatment over and over again, whether you were dating on a regular basis, partnership, marriage of many years, that person was constantly trying to like prove to you that they're a little bit better than you, you know, but, but they were doing it in underhanded ways that didn't make sense to you. And it was very hurtful. Look at you, Scorpio, the nine of swords. Look at you, baby. They caused so much drama, so much struggle, so much uh, unhappiness. Not even because they wanted to hurt you, but because they were so insecure that they didn't know how else to do it. Douche flute. Okay, douche flute energy. You could delete them from the database. I'm, you know, I'm not telling you what to do. Uh, you got the star here. A lot of people are getting the star in the collectives today. So um, that's a theme. Going into, uh, I think this douche flute isn't even going to, a douche flute house anywhere in between. Gender is arbitrary. That person may not even say happy birthday. They're just going to be like, I'm sorry, babe. <laughs> the winds, you know what? Your mommy. Oh, but the, my Scorpionic nature. I'm such a Scorpio. Like, I love the water, but I don't like the wind. Like, the wind always, like, distracts me. Uh, the, uh, the Aquarian energy here is telling me this person is coming through to say sorry, to say let's, uh, you know, let's have a new beginning in some kind of a way. But it's not going to be happening until the new year. They might on purpose kind of like wait you out throughout your birthday and the holiday period. Because they know this is our this is our time, Scorpio. The fall period is coming. All right. This is our time. <gasps> oh, my gosh. Look at the wind. It's just taking all the cards. All right. Give me a sec. <laughs> oh, my gosh. All right. The wind's getting crazy. So let's get some advice for you. Person's coming back to say I'm sorry, but they're gonna do it in, in, in kind of a trashy way. Uh, they want you to wonder, like, you know what I mean? They want you to feel like I, I, you know, I broke up with you. It's such so childish. I broke up with you, Scorpio. Don't worry about it. Yeah, the Six of Pentacles. That's your advice. This person's gonna ask for uh, for forgiveness, but do they deserve the forgiveness that they are asking for? It. This is the question. And did they mater materialize a change in themselves? since the, the last time they saw you that warrants forgiveness. Um, 
Yeah, I'm seeing Taurus energy. Could be Aquarian energy too. Could be Capricorn. Could be a Pisces with uh, a lot of Earth placements as well. But it's somebody who's, um, you know, they really want that forgiveness. But like, what are they doing to to get it from you with them? You know your story best. As you know, it's all about free will on this channel. So, you know, take everything I say with a grain of salt. I love you, my baby, my boo boo. Let me know in the comments below if this is your story, if you feel comfortable sharing. I'm always interested in your stories, my baby. Uh, I'm sending you so much love and support and light and uh, scrumptiousness from the island of the goddess of love, Aphrodite, here in Cyprus. Mm, and yeah, if, uh, oh, yeah, <clears throat> boo boo. If you love me, don't forget to like and subscribe. Did I already say that? I feel like the wind's just like, we're coming to the end of the day. It's been it, it's been a long day in the sun. Um, did I say like and subscribe? Oh my gosh, baby. We're like, this is how you know that the videos are real. Like this is like, this is truly my lifestyle. I'm just like out here on the beach doing reads for you. I can't even remember if I said like and subscribe, but yeah, like and subscribe. And for personal readings, all the info is down below. I love this video. Stay sparkly, stay gorgeous, stay moisturized. And may the angels protect you, baby. <laughs> I really don't like the wind. I don't know. Do you have, let, let me know. Like, even my mother told me, like, when I was born, like, when I was a little baby, I used to hate, like, I used to go crazy when the winds were blowing. I don't like the winds. I don't know what it is. <laughs> I love you, babe.